girl Bella. Hello, babes, and welcome back to Brown Girl Bella luxury beauty news and beauty reviews. Here we talk about all things beauty. So if that is something that you love as well, I invite you to consider subscribing and don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload or post. And please give me a like and comment below as well. So I'm here to bring you some beauty news that you can use. Like if I was Sephora, I'd be a little nervous right now. Starting January 1 of 2024, you can now find Ola Hendrickson on Ulta's shelves. Shopping great products like their award-winning Glow 2 HO Dark Spot Toner, Exclusive Glow Accelerator, and the one that started my love affair of this brand, their Banana Eye Cream. More exclusive details are coming soon, so make sure you follow me so you don't miss a moment of this beauty news. Also, in February, another British babe will be descending upon Ulta. Charlotte Tilbury will be coming to stores as soon as February 2024. Luxury brands like hers and Pat McGrath recently made these moves because Ulta is really trying to give Sephora some serious competition. Over the last six years, they have brought in brands like Chanel, NARS, Tom Ford, and many, many more. Luxury beauty is on the rise and a lot of the biggest beauty brands are seeing that younger people are shopping at Ulta and trying to get luxury items. So they want to be where that money is. And the money right now is with millennials. With Ulta's rewards program and other incentives, they have really been giving Sephora a big run for their money. We've already seen how Pat McGrath and other brands are catering to this Generation X demographic. They have already reformatted their packaging, some of their ingredients, and really trying to cater to that younger audience. So it'd be interesting to see how Charlotte Tilbury will work in Ulta as well. Right now for Pat McGrath, she's bringing in all of her younger audience tailored packaging. So she has a lot of the palette, namely this type of packaging, which is cardboard. And you're not really sacrificing the product itself, but she's really, if you look at this palette compared to the larger Mothership palettes, you do notice a big, big difference in these formulas versus the formulas in her larger Motherships. It'll be interesting to see how Charlotte Tilbury will approach going into Ulta. And again, you can't beat Ulta's cashback rewards incentive, which already blows Sephora out of the water. So you be shopping more at Ulta now that we have two powerhouse brands coming in and more to follow, or are you going to stick with Sephora? Let me know in the comment section below, babes. Don't forget to leave us a like. And until next time, you have now been bellified.